Hello, in this episode of How to with Playbox New, we'll look into how to set up servers, check out various information, add storages and more. So let's get started. First you see the one server I have assigned to my interface, which is my local server. But if I decide I can go look for more servers and I can select all the servers available on my network. I see some server here. I'll give it a name, give it a description if I like. And right now I can go back to my dashboard and I can see the second server. Immediately you can see I have a information that the local cache is kind of getting full. Local cache is a pre-assigned uh, amount of storage to use for uh, ingests and so on. You can assign dedicated storages for ingest and then for exporting and we'll see how to do this right now. On this server, which is my local server, you can see I have these two storages which are on a different hard drive but I can add another storage and let's say I want to add a network storage, not local hard drive. So this is going to be called net storage. I'll choose Samba storage. Type the address of the machine and the directory, type my credentials, I don't want to remember my password, as you can see I successfully connected to this storage and now I can use it with this server as a destination. Again, you can see it in my dashboard. It's online. I can see the condition of it. Also, I can see how much CPU is utilized on this machine, how much RAM is available. If I press the I icon here, I can get more valuable information. Name of the server, time zone, version of the operating system, various other information. I can copy this data, send it to support if necessary licensing i can see my key id i can see what licenses are available on this server in, t in terms of uh, res uh, codecs inputs outputs streams and so on what services are available on this machine for example i see here i have ndi enabled uh, blackmagic design driver i can see the version of the driver again very handily um, to use this information if you try to troubleshoot something you copy this data for example Azure SDI driver there's no Azure card on this machine that's why there's no nothing installed here streaming I have UDP RTP SRT uh, services enabled and so on performance I have historical uh, data here how the machine performs Alarm settings, we can set up here different alarms. The system allows us when we're monitoring video streams to use either black uh, frame detection or a frozen frame detection. And the value is set to five seconds. After that, the alarm will sound. You will see later on how this is utilized in the multi-viewer. In services, I can go and check the various services I have enabled on this server. For example, the Blackmagic uh, service. I can have more than one board. In this case, you can see I have two video cards on this machine. I'll select one. It gives me a handy picture of uh, the card and input outputs. Also, I can select what type of uh, connection for example this is a dual card and the connectors can be inputs or output depending on your configuration so I can select and configure this full duplex half duplex uh, on specific 
inputs and outputs and later on I can use this as my, um, it will show up as available source or destination in my input output configuration. Again, you can take a look at your dashboard, see all this information at glance and makes it easy to manage and to deal with multiple servers from a simple web browser window. Thank you for watching.